Sarah from Average Betty here and I'm making quick and easy waffles. Waffles take a little extra effort than pancakes because they require a waffle iron. So if you don't have a waffle iron and you want to make waffles from scratch, your first step is to head to Bed Bath & Beyond with your 20% off coupon. If you already have a waffle iron, here's what you do. I've got a big bowl here and some all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar. This is white sugar, you can also substitute brown sugar. Give this a stir, and as they say, create a well in the center. The well is just supposed to make it easier to combine the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. I've got beaten egg, vanilla, and milk. You can also use a buttermilk-milk combination for something extra special. Get this good and combined, and add oil. You can use any flavorless oil like vegetables, safflower, or canola. Stir the waffle batter until the oil is incorporated and looks like this. It's okay if it's a little thinner than pancake batter because the steam from the waffle iron makes these fluff up. Okay, I've got my waffle iron preheated and I use a measuring cup to scoop the batter onto the iron. Homemade waffles are always misshapen. You can smooth it out a little or just close the lid. You never know, you might get a Virgin Mary waffle or something. And here's a tip. If you cook your waffles a little on the pale side, you can pop them in the freezer and have your own homemade toaster waffles. Mm -hmm. When they're done, I like to use a fork to remove them from the waffle iron and serve them up however you like. Waffles! Get the quick and easy waffle recipe at averagebetty.com. I hope you'll make up a batch of misshapen waffles soon. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, hmm, waffles is the best.